This traffic source is free to use. It welcomes practically every niche, every niche, and it gets over 178 million visits every month. Today, you're going to learn a new way to use SoundCloud for traffic gen. Plus, I'll give you an extra three free strategies that can seriously ramp up your traffic generation. And if you stay until the end, you'll see how my students are making millions of dollars. And I'll also give you a free traffic method that I have personally used to get over 30,000 website visitors every day for free. Okay, so the first thing in today's lesson is to validate this traffic source. So you can decide for yourself if it's the right one for you, your website and your business. Soundcloud.com has a global rank of 194. So of all the billions of websites, this is the 194th most popular in the world. The traffic overview, we can see that it's getting 178 million visits every month and that is consistent. So we can see that some months it's come very, very close to 200 million. And most of that traffic comes from the United States, 27%, 5% from the United Kingdom, 4% from Germany, 3 from Russia, 3 from France. Most of the traffic is direct, it's only 16% from search, 11% from social. If we go down to that search traffic, 99% is organic. And of that social traffic, YouTube is really sending the, the big bulk of that, closely followed by Facebook, then Twitter, Reddit, and Instagram. I'll show you how to use SoundCloud first, and then I'll give you a very powerful strategy. In fact, I'm going to give you three strategies that you can use to drive even more traffic. This is SoundCloud, and you may have heard of this before, and you might have thought of it as just a place for musicians. This is actually a growing platform for podcasters and content marketers. So let's just validate that for a second, because if we go to the search bar, and we type in something like, well, let's choose a fairly common niche. So let's go with health. And here on the right hand side, we can decide what type of content we get back. So we can obviously go for tracks, but we can go for people as well. So here we have, I mean, check this out. So Radio 4 Inside Health, and this is a mainstream channel but we can see that it's got over 300,000 followers. And these are not music tracks. These are pieces of content. So let's see what mere mortals might achieve on here. So the health and nature channel, 6,000 followers, if we go down 1,000 followers. So there's opportunity here if you use this in the right way. So how do you use it in the right way? What we're going to do is go through a strategy later on, but for the moment, just look at what is working for other people. So have a look at the type of content that people are sharing in your industry and look at how they are promoting themselves. Because on your channel page, you will have some description here, which is going to help you get found on the search field thingy because there is an algorithm at play here, just like on any search engine. But also look at this, this channel are linking out to their website. If we click that link, it's just going to take us directly to, to that guy's website. They're also promoting the Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube, and podcasts and Twitter as well. So here you can really get the word out about your website, about your content. So, Let's create a free account. There is a premium option available as well. I don't believe you need that. And when you sign up, you'll have a page that looks something like this and it's really easy to use. So we've got a few options. What's going to really leap out at you is the upgrade button. You don't need that. Don't worry about that. Just go straight to upload, click on that, then drag in a piece of audio. And I'm actually going to show you how to create these audio files in a minute. 
using free software. So I'm just going to drag in an audio file that I've made previously. It's going to automatically give it the, the title name. So remember to add keywords to the actual file name. So this one is, is just called make money online forever. So I might want to change that a little bit. So I might want to add some extra detail, make money online forever with this passive income strategy, something like that genre, really important. So click the drop down menu. It's going to suggest music, but keep scrolling down to audio. And now you have a load of industries to choose from. So I'm just going to go with business. Add additional tags again. That's very important and add in as many tags as you can. Same again with the description. So we want to add something that contains our keywords. So learn how to make money online with passive income. What I would encourage you to do is really flesh out the description. So that gives more data for the algorithm and other search engines. Another important tip, do upload an image because you want to increase your click through rate. So people are going to see the image first. That's what's going to really pull them in. And my image isn't properly formatted for this, but let's just go with it anyway. Okay. So now we've done the basic info. Let's move on to metadata. So if you're uploading music, then take the time to fill in this section and then choose your license. So you can have all rights reserved or creative commons, then move on to permissions. Make sure that display embed code is enabled. You will need to use that if you're going to embed this into a blog post or another web page. This could be useful for you. So include include in RSS feed. So RSS stands for really simple syndication. So the key word there is syndication. So you can distribute RSS feeds around the internet. And every time you, you update the content, then the RSS feed automatically updates as well. And that can pull in traffic. So you might want to include that. If you want me to go into more detail about RSS feeds, let me know in the comments. Okay. If you're happy with all that, click save. Now the track is uploaded. It's online and we can go to track. So if I click play here, we will hear, uh, you'll, you'll hear my voice. There you go. So I don't know if you, if you heard that, let me pause that. There we go. Okay. So what we've got here are, are a few more options so we can click edit. So if we can, if we forgot to do anything previously, we can go back, uh, correct that as we like, but let me show you something very, very powerful here. So first of all, we can add a comment. So there we can link out to other resources or we can add a, a separate call to action. Another tip that I, I really want you to pay attention to is this one. So go to your profile. Click that next, go to profile again. And now you have options here so you can share. So if you click that, you can distribute it to social media very easily or very important, click edit. So here we can add in relevant keywords. So I would say take advantage of bio. So another thing to do here is to click add link. Click on that. Now you can link out to really as many places as you like. So you can link out to your website. So I might want to link to profitcopilot.com, but I might also want to link to a lead magnet. So, so I encourage people to subscribe to my email list. So I might put in a link to a lead magnet there or whatever you have, and then give it a short title. Again, think about your keywords here. So let's put in keywords and then click save changes. Of course you can add as many links as you like. And now you can see that there we have that link and we can fill that out with links to websites, to products, to social media pages. Okay. So 
How is this traffic source used? Well, it's a really simple strategy. So we just take one of your existing blog posts and then we get some free recording software like Audacity and you record yourself reading the blog post. This is the Audacity website, audacityteam.org. It's free, open source and cross platform. So let's just download it. And this is how to use Audacity. It's very simple to use. So over here, we have a few options. Make sure that your microphone is selected there from the drop down menu. That's all you really need to do to enable your microphone. Now you can use your built in microphone in the, the one that comes with your laptop or your computer. That's fine. But if you want better quality results, then I'd encourage you to invest maybe 20 bucks into just a more professional grade microphone. But if you don't have a microphone, don't let that deter you from moving forward and recording your blog posts. Okay, so when you have your microphone selected, it really is just a case of hitting the record button. And now you can see that it's recording and we've got the audio wave there. It's recording my voice. I'm just going to talk a little bit so you can actually see this in real time. Okay, so there it works. Now to convert this into an audio file that you can upload to the internet, it's very simple. We just go to file, go to export, then choose MP3 or WAV or WAVE. <laughs> if someone can tell me how to pronounce that, that'd be great. So for best results, we probably want to go with MP3. Click that. Now the quality, really the default, the standard setting is going to be okay. That'll be fine. You can even go medium if you want to give it a descriptive file name. So as we saw previously, I called mine. What was it? Make money forever. So you want to add some keywords in there as well and then click save. What it's going to do is export that and then you can just drag that into SoundCloud or wherever else you choose. And now you have successfully repurposed your blog post into an audio file that you can upload to SoundCloud. And not only that, you've also created a second way to bring in even more organic traffic to your website and to your funnel. That is, of course, if you add a call to action at the end of your audio clip. Now, your call to action needs to give people direct instructions on what they need to do next. And this could be anything. So it could be to share your content, to visit your website, to buy a product, or most importantly, to subscribe to your email list. Now, the next strategy is to take individual paragraphs or even quotes from your audio clip and repurpose those as audiograms. What's an audiogram? Well, it's a very short but very powerful piece of audio, usually with an image. And of course, we can include calls to action in those too, because audiograms are incredibly shareable. I'll show you some examples and I'll show you how to make them for yourself. So how do you chop up your longer piece of audio into smaller chunks, into smaller clips? Well, thankfully, that's really easy with Audacity. So we just highlight the section that we want to save separately. So we highlight that. Then we go to File, Export. And this time we go to Export Selected Audio. Click that. And now you can give that a separate name and then you can upload that as an audiogram. So how do you make these embeddable, shareable audiograms? Well, I've got a couple of options for you. Both are free to use. I'm not affiliated or associated with either one, but the first one is called getaudiogram.com. The second one is called wave with two Vs.co. So both will allow you to create these type of files. Both are limited unless you upgrade. I believe you don't need to upgrade. I mean, let's check out the pricing options on both. So the free option on uh, Audiogram lets you upload two videos a month. Whereas with Wave, you can upload one minute of video 
monthly. So what I recommend you do before you invest any money into this is just do a couple. So using these free services, you're going to get at least three free audiograms every month if we combine both of these together. So what I encourage you to do is just test three out, see what kind of results you get and only if it's worth it, then go with one of the premium options. So this is how to use Wave. It gives you some ready-made designs if you want to use one of those or you can create your own. Let's make life easy. Let's just select a design. Let's go with that one. Upload audio file. And there we have that test file that we did previously. Looks like it's working. And now we can click generate video. Looks pretty good to me. Another very important step. We need to give it a proper title. So think about the keywords. Another important step, add tag. Let's go check it out. So there we go. And that looks ready to me. And now we can download that and go to the next step. Okay, so the next strategy is to share these audiograms across social media. So post them on Twitter, Facebook, find relevant groups, subreddits and communities to share them with. And with all these strategies combined, who knows how much traffic you'll get and what kind of amazing results you'll get. Like Matt, he's one of my students who's making millions of dollars. And if you want to know the secret and you really do want to get serious about making money from your website, then you're going to need more customers. It sounds simple, but what that really means is getting more traffic. So I will give you the traffic methods that I never share on YouTube or anywhere else. You can get them all completely for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up below, subscribe to the channel too, hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care.